Hi there and welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. This episode we're going to be talking about uh, fish food, in this case uh, Shabumpkin fry food. Now this uh, fry food I do up can be used for any uh, species um, of cyprids, cyprids. I can't say that word either today. My tongue has died, but I do have my voice back. Now if everything else starts working again. Anyways, let's get back to the topic at hand. Uh, now that your fish have bred, you want to feed them uh, some really tiny food. Now, some fish are so small, like some of the barbs, you're going to need uh, insuphoria, uh, which is easy enough to make up. And there's 101 videos on how to do that. But if you don't have time uh, and you haven't got them set up, you can always buy uh, some uh, grow fry powder as you can see it's a really super fine powder like dust and it works pretty good and I I use it on some of my koi and this will last you a while but it's very expensive it's about $23 Canadian for two and a half ounces so you want to be careful with that how much you use the same with uh, brine shrimp if you've already got some cultivated great if not you're going to be end up uh, buying some either cyclopods or baby brine shrimp, which can run you anywhere from 10 to $16, and it doesn't last as long, especially when you're feeding your fry uh, three, sometimes four times a day. So what I generally do is uh, I'll make up my own uh, fry food, and uh, I use, ready, the magic bullet. Now that I'm not making a uh, health food shakes, uh -huh. uh, and I did ask permission if I could use it, I, you, I make up my own fry food. And what I do is I'll start with uh, some pellets, and these are some great uh, Omega-1 pellets. They're not necessarily for shabumpkins, but they're good for all cypridids. So, and they're a fine pellet to begin with. So I'll put some in. This is me cooking with Chris, except for I wouldn't eat it. Kind of be light, but I wouldn't touch it. I don't think it'd do much for your breath. Lots of protein in it, though. And that's what you really want for your fry, especially your koi and shabumpkin that you want to grow up quickly. Because, you know, like here in Canada, you've only got a couple of months of summer to really get them going, unlike other uh, spots around. So what I do is I'll make up a little bit of just the, the pellets because it's going to take a while to break down. If I get the lid on properly, it would be even doing better. up you really want to get the powders a uh, real good powder out of uh, these pellets so they go in first now that we got the uh, um, pellet food into a nice powder we're going to add uh, some flakes did I mention that you should always get permission before you take uh, your spouse's uh, magic bullet or whatever uh, food processor that you're going to acquire slash steal from your spouse. And I asked, should have taped it to make sure that it was good, but anyways, I'm going to add some goldfish color enhancing flakes. Although for goldfish, these really don't have a super high protein. That's why I added uh, the pellets, uh, much higher protein. They're, uh, 43%. Uh, so, as compared to the protein in this, which is much less. I'm going to also add some tropical fish powder. That's flakes, dumb because dumb. I've got uh, some barb fry outside as well. And I, I want to add some quality flakes. And I've got omega 1 flakes as well. Uh, but I find the, the tetra 
uh, it seems to be a little bit softer and much easier to break up. I know, so exciting, right? So, there's your fine powder. Not quite as fine as this, but I don't want it to, to be. Uh, it's simply because uh, the fish that are going to be eating it are a little bit larger now and can take the larger size. And I'm going to be feeding them more than I would with this. So, I don't make very much up at a time, simply because of the size and how fast uh, they're growing. The, as they uh, get bigger, obviously you don't have to make it into a, a fine powder sack. So let's get outside because it's nice out and we'll give everything a good feed with this. And this is gonna save you a lot of money and a lot of time and headache. Did I mention, make sure you get permission. One of us is in <laughs> deep trouble. <laughs> Feed. Hard to get a good view in this pond simply because of the light or lack thereof. Now they won't go for it right away, but trust me, they're eating it. And this is the uh, powdered flakes that I made up. I'm hoping that these guys will start coloring up soon. You can see a bit of it uh, developing. But they definitely are growing nicely, considering uh, they're uh, only uh, several weeks old. And by the end of the summer, I'm hoping that they'll definitely be much bigger. I can't believe how big these guys have gotten since you put them in this barrel since they were born. Yeah, they're coloring up really nicely. Just going to give them a feed. This is like their third feeding of the day. And you feed them three times a day? Three to four times a day. And how long do we have to do that for? Uh, until I can give them some small pellet and small flake food. Pretty fine pellets. How, right. did, how did you get it ground up that small, like that fine for them? Um, magic bullet. What magic bullet? The one that we never used that was in the cupboard. I use that I use that for my smoothies. If you're using that for your fish, that I'm never using that again. I'm going to buy a brand new one, a better one. No! You see the cut these ones are starting to color up more than the others. And I think it because they're a little bit bigger and they get a little bit more sun. But that's just a theory. It's quite a few, eh? There's a lot in here. I'm amazed actually. So these other two barrels that have babies in it, do you feed them the powdered stuff too that you ground up with my bullet, Chris? Uh, yes, dear. <laughs> uh, well, being they're all cyprinid, uh, and they're the same family, they eat very similar foods, and why not? So this is the only one I've, I've found uh, fry in so far, and this is the Odessa one. Well, thanks everyone for uh, watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And what did we learn today, Chris? Uh, how to make uh, powdered uh, food for your baby fish. It saves a lot of money. Using my magic bullet. So, I'm not going to save money? No, you're not, because I'm going out to buy a new, more expensive one for my smoothies. Thank you.